For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com or become an official student at Patreon.com forward slash DaxterBells. Alright guys, I'm going to do these two problems in which um, we have to express a moment of the couple acting on the framing Cartesian vector form. Let me underline that. The forces apply perpendicular to the frame. Uh, what is the magnitude of the couple moment? And we're going to take that F is equal to 15 newtons. So for the first problem, we're going to have to find these two points, which are um, A and B. Let me change the color of that brush. So this is A and this is B. So first let's find A. To find A, you know that A has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. The A component is the X component is uh, right here. There is no Y component. The Y component is equal to zero. And the C component is that. So the A component is given by three, which is the length of the frame, times the cosine of 30 degrees, this angle right here. And the C component is given by three times the sine of 30 degrees. Now this is 2.6 and this is 1.5. So basically the position vector of A is equal to 2.6 in the I plus 1.5 in the K. And then you need to find B, which is the same as A, just that it has a 1.5 Y component. So it's the same thing. It's 2.6i plus 1.5 in the j plus 1.5 in the k. So now that we have the position vectors, we need to find the vector that goes from a to b. From a to b. This vector is given by b minus a, which is equal to 1.5 in the j. Now that we have that, we know that the moment created by the couple is equal to vector AB cross the vector of the force. The vector of the force is what we need to find. And we we know that this vector has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. And we also know that this vector is perpendicular to the frame. Right here. So, basically I'm going to draw this triangle as if I was looking at it from here. And you know that this triangle looks something like this. This is the 30 degree angle. And this is the force going down. So you know that since this is 90 degrees and this is 30 degrees, this angle right here is 60 degrees. And you know that the F has a zero magnitude because it doesn't do anything this way or this way. Since it doesn't do anything that uh, those ways, the Y component is zero. And the, the component of, a he of the X will be F times the cosine of 60. And the component in the C is going to be F times the sine of 60. So when you put, plug this into your calculator and you replace F by 50 newtons, then you're going to get that the F vector is equal to 25i plus C or J because there's no Y component minus 43.3k. So to build the um, cross product of AB through F, we build our matrix. 
I, J, K. Now AB, which is this, 0, 1.5 J and 0. And at the bottom we got F, which is 25, 0 and minus 43.3. So what we do is we recopy the first two columns. 0 and 1.5, 25 and 0. We do our positive diagonals, which come out to be 1.5 that's negative 43.3 times i is negative 64.95i. And then we do our negative diagonals. which comes out as negative times 25 times 1.5 times k, which is minus 37.5k. So now that you have this vector, This is the Cartesian vector form of the couple moment acting on this. So now we're going to do the second problem. In order to turn over the frame, a couple moment is applied as shown if the component of this couple moment along the x-axis is mx 20i, negative 20i, determine the magnitude f of the couple forces. So basically they want you to find f knowing that the x component, which is the psi component, is negative 20. So if that is negative 20 in the i, you know that to find this component, you basically did the AB cross the C component of the force. AB, which is um, 1.5 times F sine of 60 that equals to negative 1.5 times f sine of 60 which gives you that the force is equal to 15.39 newtons final answer final answer